All right, everybody, Supreme Family Garden here once again, bringing you a citrus video, all right? My citrus trees are blooming like no tomorrow. Follow me, guys. Right here, this is my uh, blood orange tree. And look at the blooms on this baby. It smells good. You smell that, honey? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Man, some of them are actually turning into little fruit. I mean, if you can bring that camera in there just a little bit. You really do smell it? Mm -hmm. it smells like bath, bath and gardens, don't it, baby? All right. Now, honey, if you follow me over here, let's see what else is uh, actually blooming. Now, guys, what I actually fertilize this thing with is, um, what's that guy? Um, that, um, some EB stone that I seen from, um, uh, from the big dude. And I tried it out, and I'm going to just see if it's going to hold my blossoms. Also, what I did this year was I used malorganite in my yard, period. So between those two and those are the actually only two things that i use it was a citrus fertilizer from eb stone expensive as all man I'm not buying it again no it's too expensive but trees are looking very good from that so i very expensive but the trees are ve looking very lush okay now over here these are my two tangerine trees and these guys are actually they're doing their thing Okay. And over here, it's putting off a lot of new growth. Probably in another week or so, she'll have more blooms on her. Because if you look right here, she's getting just a few here and on this limb up here. Okay. Okay, and over here too, honey. And down here, guys. I mean, everything's coming along so far so good in the, um, in the, in the, with my citrus trees. Oh, and I also did put down some, um, fishy motion the other night. Okay. And right here. She's not as green as the others, but she's still looking good. And this is actually a tangelo. I'm not a big fan of it, but she started blossoming, so I didn't dig her up. And um, over here, she's doing pretty good here. And again, guys, I use citrus fertilizer. I think it was EB Stone, um, malorganite, because uh, I use the malorganite just in my lawn, and. Um, and some Epsom salt and fish emulsion. And again, guys, my trees are looking better than ever. Now, the uh, EB stone, I just um, applied it probably about, I wanna say like three weeks ago, but the malorganite, I did apply it like a month ago, okay? So I'm not sure on the two, but my wife actually wrote it down because next year, if I have to go back, you know, I can kinda go back into my notes and know exactly what I used. And that was one of the reasons I was explaining to you guys on why I try to keep everything in certain areas so I can kind of watch how I fertilize them and what I actually give them because some of those products are too, too doggone expensive for me to buy. I can't, uh -uh. if it was one tree in a pot, I'd probably stick with it, but I can't afford it with 70 citrus trees. I'd go broke, there's no citrus fruit worth that. But uh, anyway, let's go over here to this tree, baby. Because my plan was, guys, see right here, this is a guava. She's coming back, okay? And this is a tangerine. I was actually removing both of these citrus trees out of this area because what I'm going to do is I was just going to have my guava, my papaya, and this was going to be like a little focal point with a spotlight next to my uh, elephant ears and just make this like a tropical island because, again, these are all papayas and there's probably like a hundred seeds in here and I wanted all papayas just to grow right here in this one area but maybe next year I'll get to it and um, 
put other citrus trees. All right, guys, give us just a second. We're going to bring you to the front. All right, guys, this right here is actually my Hamlin orange. Now, this tree here actually has more blooms on it than any other citrus tree that we have in the yard, okay? Now, honey, if you can bring the camera in, you can actually, so you can actually show the guys. This thing is gonna be loaded. The Hamlins, from what I've heard, they're very good for juicing and different things like that. But down here in the South, we just eat them all, juice them all, you know, doesn't really matter. But for those who are watching the video, that's what they're normally good for. And again, with this tree right here, I didn't use any EB stone on this particular tree because I ran out and I wasn't buying it again. But I did use a um, that Melorganite and a handful of Epsom salt. I just threw it on the tree and some chelated iron and she's doing good, man. And again, this is, um, it's planted um, and has mulch around it and different things like that. So she's looking good. And I actually transplanted this tree from back there to here. So during the transplant, it actually, I mean, all of these, are, this is all new growth that she's put off. So she, she must like it in this area. All right. Now this time we're going to go to the front. All right, guys. Another thing I want to tell you. See these three kumquat trees? This is a Miwa. That's a Nagami. And that is a Nagami. If you can find the Miwa, stick with the Miwas. Miwas are hands down the sweetest of all varieties, okay? Hands down. To me, they don't put off as many fruit, but oh my God, night and day difference with the Miwa to the Nagami. Now follow me up here, guys. Since we're back here, pardon me for eating this kumquat because dead dog it is good. I just wanted to show you guys my kumquat tree to show the progress of that baby. Guys, it's not a citrus, but I am proud of it. Would you like one dollar? No. Well, you want to wash yours off. I'm gonna wipe mine on my shirt. Sure. Guys, another tip, right? These little seeds. You could plant these in mulch and they'll grow a tree. I sold probably, oh my God, about like 10 of these, five bucks each. Grown from a seed. I tossed that baby right over there. So when it grows up, I'll pot it up. All right, follow me one more time. I know this is citrus talk, okay? But since we have to walk up here, I watched, uh, what's his name, Orlando Gardner. I was jealous. He was saying something about he had um, blooms on his lychee tree. So I run home. And gosh darn it, I look on my tree. And look at that, guys, on a lychee tree. Led, I hope you're watching, bro, because I know you don't have any. That's all right. I've had that tree in the ground for like three years. Getting good. All right, back to citrus, guys. This is another. Now, this here is another tangelo. No EB stone on this one either. Just malorganite, Epsom salt. And she is doing good. She's not as lustful as I'd like her to be. But man, for some cheap, I got the Mulloganite on sale. I think it was like $3.99 a bag. I bought like 40 of them. Got a video about that coming out soon, too. Stay tuned, guys. But anyway, look at here. She's doing real good. And guys, whenever you see the little suckers coming off, plop those babies off and throw them away. And this is a, I think this is a Tangelo. Jesus, I can't even read the tag, baby. Yep, this is a mini, what is that, baby? 
Miniola Tangelo Honey Bell. Honey Bell Tangelo. That's a nice orange tree. And over here, oh my God, we forgot to go over there. This is a, um, a grapefruit tree. Why my wife wanted me to plant it here, I have no clue. But she doesn't have nothing on it. Maybe she's just waiting on a special day to start blooming out in it, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, this, I think, is a uh, flame grapefruit, if I'm not mistaken. We've never gotten one fruit off of this tree, but she's been that height since we bought her. Maybe next year, maybe later. And right here, this is my daughter's tree. And I thought I saw some um, some blooms on this baby. Now look at the leaves on this tree, guys. This is amazing. I don't see any. Oh, yes, we do. We do have. I haven't pruned this tree, and it's crossing and doing everything. My daughter told me don't touch it. She said if I prune it, I'm cutting away fruit. Here's some more blooms over here. And the name of this particular tree is I don't know. Oh my god, it's a lot of blossoms over here, babe. If you bring the camera right in there. See here, turn it to Now, this one, the only thing that kept it sustained was my log and I, I didn't put anything over there. All right, where are the others? All right, guys, follow me one more time. Mangoes aren't, they didn't get beat bad, but they're not, not yet. This star fruit tree here, doing good. No fruit, but doing good. I'm gonna stop talking about other plants. Hey, you gotta put it on the citrus trees. They're not gonna wanna watch the video because we said citrus, not avocado and mango. All right guys, now right over here. These are some more honey bell and tangelo. Baby, it's, guys, it has to be the Melorganite. Uh, like, honestly, if you can stand back, babe, look at how shiny these leaves are. Okay, and again, in this area, all I used was coffee grounds, Melorganite. Coffee grounds, Melorganite. Coffee grounds, Melorganite. And Epsom salt. That's all I used. That I know for a fact. All right, and this particular variety, and she is kicking butt. These are going to be... Valencia, that's right, this is a Valencia orange tree section. Guys, I mean, like, look at this. That is all right. I'm gonna say oranges this year too, guys. Supreme oranges. Mm-mm, good. Now follow me one last time, guys, one last time. Actually, two more times. I gotta show this off. Look at this avocado tree, guys. Isn't this amazing? Now again, guys, this hasn't been grown in a pot. This is just in the ground, okay? Now I have one in the backyard that's actually about nine, about, about eight, nine foot tall. I've had it for a few years and it's loaded as well. But since we're up here, I'm gonna show it to you. Look at that, all right? Look at that, guys. This thing is loaded. I mean, from top to bottom. I mean, I, this is going to break branches. I'm probably going to have to thin this guy. Isn't that amazing, honey? Mm -hmm. And my papaya tree, she's spitting out new growth. And last but not... Oh, no, we have two more citrus trees, guys. Two more. This is a uh, plain grapefruit tree that our customer's actually coming to pick up. She's doing pretty good. All right, and there's just a few more citrus trees out here, guys. We're just gonna bring you guys along just to show you the progress of everything that's actually going on for uh, the spring of 2019. 
I'm hoping the cold is over, but some, I feel it's not, but I hope it is, all right? So um, again, this is another little citrus tree. But again, guys, I'm gonna wait for these babies. It's one, two, three, four here, out here in the front of the property. I'm gonna actually remove all of these, but it, now it's probably not gonna be until next year because I don't want it to go through too much shock. But weather permits, and if it does get cold for three or four nights, they gotta come up. All right. So, um, yeah, let's go look at, let's check this one out. This is a navel orange. Look at the squirrels. They want to come over here and start eating a peach. She doesn't have any block. Oh, yes, she does. Baby, bring her in. See her, guys? All right, guys. Supreme Family Garden. May God bless each and every one of you. Pardon me, I have come quite. I have something in my mouth. Um, thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your day.